we're back with part four of the dog's storage and it's been a while since we've completed the parts of the whole drawer. I had recorded this one before however when I put it on to Final Cut Pro the audio didn't go with what I was showing so I really don't know what happened there and it's just took me a while to come back to this drawer just because we've had other ones going on, other videos going on. So we are back with the fourth drawer and the final drawer and this one is probably the fullest drawer um, it's where we keep all the um, collars, leads, basically everything um, for going out with. So the first thing is the water bottle which we got from, I think this was a possum box, subscription box that we had done. It was just like three boxes worth we got and um, it's just a wee water bottle that you can basically fill up and you squeeze the water out and it goes into the wee tub and you can carry it with the handle so it's very handy to have um, we used it when we went to the beach it was very good so that's the first thing the second things are their collars now we've got two separate collars for them and this is Roxy's hers is the pink with bones and we've got the re charm. Now this is actually a cat charm, so it's big, but the dog charms that they had in pets at home were very small. And I just really like this one because see when it's new, it's nice and sparkly and shiny. I mean this has been to the beach, this has been salt water, it's been cleaned, so it's looking a bit dull and rusty. And then this is their ID tag, so or as you can see the stones have came off just because of wear and tear and again that's been in salt, it's been everywhere. And we re renew these every couple of months, maybe twice a year. Um, the wee charms, they're only £2 so we replace them every couple of months as well. So I don't put their name on the ID tag. Um, it's only got I'm chipped and then it's got my number so that they can contact me if the dogs were to go a wander. Hopefully not, we never have. So that is Roxy's collar and this one is Pixie's. She's got the nice purple. She suits purple. Um, she did have a dark purple collar but we went with the kind of light lilac -y purple colour and it's nice because it's a kind of silk material. I would have got the same for Roxy but I didn't want to have the same collar for them. I wanted them to be different and the only other colour they had in this was a kind of turquoise um, aqua colour so we decided just to go with a separate one. Um, so again the ID tag just much the same and the and just the wee charm again. Now, they don't wear the collars in the house, they only wear the collars when they are outside for a walk. We prefer not to have them on in the house, there's not really any need. So that is them. The next things we have is matching leads. And again, um, the pink for Roxy and the purple for Pixie and these are just the standard leads with the clip and on the end we have our poop dispenser bags we got this from TK Maxx and the bags um, we go through quite a lot of them sometimes so we do have a good supply of them so that just attaches it's like a wee velcro thing onto the handle and it's very good the next thing is the water bowls. Now we got one of these from, I think it was the Groomers Online, and we got the other one from their Paw Post box, and they just go up like that. And there you go. So there's two different sizes, yes, there's nothing in it. <laughs> there's no food in it. Your food's in your bowl. 
you go and get your breakfast? Mm. Roxy, I'm taking a video. Thank you. So this one is a lot larger. We tend to keep this for um, bigger distances and this one's just slightly smaller. So we do tend to keep one in the car as an emergency but it just so happened that I brought the two of them up to wash out and we've not put it back yet. So they just flat pack back down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. So that is them and they can fit in small spaces. So that's the two bowls. Very good. The next things we have is the harnesses. Now we used to use these all the time and these are from Ezzy Dog. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, there's different ways of pronouncing things these days. But these are very good harnesses, the best that they've ever had. It's very sturdy, very um, safe with this uh, main bit here. So they've got both the same, although they've got different measurements. So I cut the label for Roxy and then Pixie's got the one that's not cut. And we've not used these in a very long time. I've trained them to not like run with the collar to choke themselves so the reason why we got these is because I felt when we were taking them up with the collars that they were pulling that much that they were choking themselves and I didn't like that idea so I got the harnesses because it was more secure and better for them although I feel with having the collars on walking with the collars I have better control of the dog so we've not used these in a long time but they're very good. The only problem is with longer hair they do tend to mat with these on so we're keeping them as an emergency in case we need to use them again. The next thing we have is the different leads. Now I've already showed you two which is their main lead. We've got three different leads. Or should I say four different leads? Obviously they've got this one, which is the main one that we use and we use that one for going out to parks or to the vet. This one is the, uh, let me see where is it, where's my wee label, there, it's the, the, the Halte lead and this is the training lead that we got for Pixie because she did like to take me for a walk instead of me taking her for a walk because she's sleeping and it's a very good lead it's got different functions different uses you know you can attach the lead onto that bit there and you can have a, a shorter lead or you can attach it onto that bit there and have an even shorter lead you can wrap it around your waist you can have it round your shoulders like a handbag you know there's different ways of using it you can also double lead it so because I've got two dogs I can have one on one dog and one on the other the difference is though is that these hooks are different sizes so I tend to put the bigger one on Pixie because she tends to pull so this one goes on Roxy and it's a very good lead I have to say it got me to walk Pixie by my side and she now does not pull or run ahead. She used to be so bad with pulling and running ahead that I used to end up having to run sometimes with her and it was choking her, it was hurting her so um, we gained control with this lead and we got to get her walking by our side and I do still like this lead, I still use it sometimes. Um, not use it for a while right enough but you know it's something that I would easily use again um, so it's a very good lead very beneficial and I would recommend it to anybody who's wanting to train outside with their dogs it's very good so that's one lead the second leads are leads that we made the mistake on by getting when they were puppies which is why Pixie walk to the way she did and misbehaved the way she did is because when she extended she had the right to go ahead she had the right to go first on the walk be ahead of me 
she basically she owned me out at the park with this lead and I wouldn't recommend this lead to anybody who's training a dog to stay beside them. Before I got this lead I tried walking her beside me with this one and when you're holding it you don't have a great control over the dog because this is so big and this just isn't really, I don't know, it's not secure enough as this. So you've got more guide with the dog with this, eh, sorry, no, with this than you do with this one. So we made the mistake of getting this one with a uh, Pixie as a puppy and I have the reason to think that's why she was the way she was. Probably my fault as well for letting her extend the way she did um, and because of that she's learned that walking her head is right. So uh, that's the long one, I think it's 8 metres. 26 feet, 8 metres, yep. So we still use these right enough, we we go, still go to the park and I do let them extend but because they walk beside me now it's not so much of an annoyance for them to um, pull back and walk beside me and control them because they just do that now anyway. So we still take these, let them run about a bit for a bit um, instead of just walking beside, get the energy out. So we've got two of them and I wouldn't recommend it for puppy users. Um, just because it's it's not very good for training. If anything for puppies, I would recommend the standard lead or the training lead. Um, it's very good. So we've got four leads um, and they all serve a different purpose. So this one just for standard walks uh, out in the park or going to the vet. These ones if we want them in the park you know, and just extending a wee bit, but keeping them on the lead. We live across from the park, as you know, but the park's next to main roads, and we don't like to let them off the lead, just in case they run out onto the road. It's a very busy road, main road, and I wouldn't want anything to happen. So we use these out in the park across the road if we want them to have a wee bit of a run around and exercise. And then this lead um, we use, you know, I would use if I want to only use one hand and take both dogs out, then I would double the lead up and they would both go on either end and it means I would only need to use one hand. The only problem with that is, is that you don't have a handle to hold on to, so you need to hold on to the lead like that. And sometimes it can slide in between your hands, but as long as you've got a good grip of it, it's not going to come out of your hand. Isn't that right, Roxy? Yes. <laughs> so we do let the dogs off the lead and when we take them to the park we take that lead and we go to a park called Barshaw and it's a park where they are allowed off the lead and they are allowed to run so we tend to take just a smaller lead for that. So that is our selection of leads, probably too much. Probably only really need one lead, but we've got several, so there we go. The next thing we've got is our poop bags, and we get a big box of these from Costco. And they're a kind of lemon scent, you get a good 20 odd rolls or 80, I think it's 18 rolls in a box, and they're a bit lemon scented, and they are, I think they were four pounds. 99 maybe four pounds can't quite remember all right but they were under a five pound anyway and it's quite good because in pets at home you get four bags for two pound so if I was to get eight bags that would be four pound whereas I can get 18 bags for four pound So that's the bag, so they're very really good. We do go through quite a lot, so every time we make a trip to Costco. Pixie, enough. Hey, come here. Every time we make a trip to Costco, we get a box of these. I just hope we don't stop stocking them because they're very good. The next thing is the 
seatbelt harnesses, um, these attach to the seatbelts and then um, the collar or the harness gets attached to um, that bit there and it's very secure. We do have these but we also have the normal seatbelt one where it plugs into the actual seatbelt and it's got this on the end of it. And then we've got our two-way extender which branches out two ways and it's got a hook on either side so the dogs are um, strapped into one seat belt but the two are clipped on with separate clips and that's how we keep them in the car um, so they are secure in. What are you doing? Are you looking at yourself? She's so moody this morning. That's just Pixie though, she's got a grumpy streak to her. So the next thing is just our retraining pouches. Now this was the first one we got for when Pixie was a puppy and it's very good although you can't clip it onto anywhere, eh, which is a bit of a shame. So we, didn't, we don't really use that one now, but we keep it just for it as an emergency. And we use this one, which is the Chixie one and it's quite a big pouch and it's good because it can hook onto your trousers or a pocket or anything like that or you can strap it on through a, a belt or something if you have one um, and inside you just keep some treats so this is what we would go to the park with and inside you've got the Yes, we've got the Billy and Margo strawberry um, training bones and we also have the Lily's Kitchen calming ones and we have the Lily's Kitchen, um, what's it called, the Lily's Kitchen woodland block which is the venison and the duck biscuits. It's a sample pack that we got so we just fill that up with treats and then we go to the park and we sit on the bench and we have a couple of those. Yes, but you're not getting any. No, you've had your dinner. Mm -hmm. No more. So that is all that is in our drawer. Um, again, it's probably a drawer that we do need to clear out and store some things away. Um, but we will work on that at a later time. So that's all the stuff that we have in the drawers, all the leads and everything. And that is us. So that is the four drawers um, completed. And it's a, it's a very good set of drawers. And we've only recently just kind of jazzed it up a bit. So on the side, I've got my wee stickers. I done that last night and I'm quite happy. I like to decorate things. So we've got my wee stickers on each side and then up the top, we've got my wee butterfly. And they're wee biscuits. So these are their grooming treats that we keep. And it's black currant and something. I can't remember what one is it now. Blackberry and apple. So they are blackberry and apple treats and they're just wee paws. And to get one of them once they've had their group. And that is us. So like, comment, subscribe, and you know if they have any questions, you can let us know. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye Roxy. Pixie. Are you going to say bye bye? Are you going to say bye bye? Hmm, bye guys!